The conservative attack ads have begun. The political ads hitting the airwaves these days, you'd think we were already in the thick of it. And the conservatives wasted no time launching their first volley of attack ads, creating a website called Justin over his head. Justin Trudeau is targeting the Tories in his latest ad using the same tactics he accuses them of using. That is the liberal ad in response to the conservative attack ad which we played last week. Nick, apparently there was an ad. Yeah, there was an ad. They seem very excited about that ad. You always know when there's an attack ad in Canada because we hear a lot about it. I know when this Trudeau ad came out, I learned about it from the political press, not from watching television and, and watching the ad. And more than likely, the ad is embedded in the story. So Always. On all of these, on the web version, yeah. the ad is there for you to click and watch, and you can just watch those YouTube views go up. Who knows if people are actually going to read what you're writing when they see the pictures and they see the ad. That might be all they take away from it. Yeah. And then whoever's doing the advertising wins. Just absolute 100% win. There's no level of analysis in that headline. It's just a fact, like, the Conservatives have launched the first Trudeau attack ad and we are somehow duty-bound just to tell you that piece of information? I mean, it, it, it seems like they're just playing kind of a dumb middleman. Yeah, I mean, um, they're, they're, they're not much of a messenger. There's a message and they're taking it and they're putting it on their websites with no analysis. They went to the trouble of making a vicious attack ad. We are <laughs> duty-bound to covering it. Yeah. Look, this is in the attack ad section of global news, like sports, politics, attack ads. Like, yeah. that's just understood that that's something that they're going to do every time it happens. Yeah, it's just part of the culture now, for sure. They were able to brand former liberal leader Stefan Dion as not a leader and Ignatieff as just visiting. Yes, they were able to brand them that way because you helped them. Yeah, <laughs> unapologetically and repeatedly. We can't pretend we're not part of the process. And we don't even wait for political ads anymore. Sometimes the Conservative Party will send out a fundraising letter to its members, uh -huh. and that becomes news. Why is that newsworthy? I'm not sure. There's a word for this. It's queer baiting. They're suggesting with every aesthetic tool at their disposal that he's gay. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah. We don't have to repeat that message on their behalf. They're not trying to hide it either. It's pretty obvious. I mean, it's sparkly. It's sparkly. <laughs> This is a tactic that goes back to, like, McCarthyism, you know? Call your opponent a queer. It's uh, real gutter politics. It's ugly stuff. Yeah, and the Conservative Party doesn't have to say that because they know the press is going to say that for them. And this is no different. I mean, we, we are talking about them now, and the message just... It, it's not about people agreeing with the ads. It's not about people thinking that it's uh, a fair ad. It's just about, can we make the ad what people talk about? And yeah. they can't. They obviously can. Yeah, because if we're talking about whether or not Justin is over his head, we're not talking about anything the Conservative Party's doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really feels like any time we're about to have a substantive conversation, Harper's on the playground going... Justin's gay, look over there, everybody. Yeah. That is a very rapid race to the bottom. If the entire political discourse is ad, response to the ad, coverage of the ad, and the only way that you, as you know, another leader, can, can, can shift that is to release your own ad or respond to the insinuations in the ad, then politics becomes a conversation about ads. That's right. And whenever ads come out, politics is only a conversation about those ads. Nothing else is talked about. The tactic is so obvious that you would think there would be a level of, well, we're not going to fall for that on the part of the press. Yeah, but there isn't. It's like rappers beefing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right? Yeah, the lamest rappers in the world. Right? Yeah. <laughs>